All right, so my van's making a new note. Cool. What is that? Gonna change everything. Just, just you wait. So everyone at Firefly has one wheels, and they've been pressuring me to try to get one, but those are real expensive. But mostly I'm very uncomfortable riding one wheels. I'm not a natural. Another guy in the office has a uh, electric scooter, and we uh, rode to lunch one day and it was a lot of fun. Although his scooter ran out of juice on me and the one wheel guys uh, came to the rescue. But. I'm pretty excited to be including this when I'm zipping around Detroit getting some photos and videos of things. It goes 25 miles per hour. No one's going to catch me. So I have been looking on Zillow at homes. Just looking to see if there's anything, if prices are going down or if there's anything weird out there. There isn't. Just so you know, prepare yourselves one day. I'm not going to be living in this van. And the goal is to make you all fall in love with me, and you don't care what I'm living in. Although I kind of like the idea of getting a plot of land, making a home underground, but it's like super stealthy, no one knows it's there. And there's a, and to get into it, there's like a grass patch, but it's like, like, you can like jump into it, and it's like, poof, like a tube, like a slide, I just go diving into it. That could be fun. I'm actually at the office. We're gonna we're gonna charge it in there. I just want to do an unboxing in the van. Oh yeah, this is gonna be perfect for my van. <laughs> Can I get a small Oreo Blizzard? What do you want, what do you want Mike? <laughs> Same thing, a small Michael. Oreo Blizzard, please. Um. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to a birthday party for a new friend, which for me, later in life, making new friends has become difficult. Come on. Oh! Frick. Zero photos. All right. Oh, what is this? Why is everything breaking? I am sweating. But I got this really weird uh, thing thrifting. It's a photo um, picture frame. And I bought a hand version, but there's a foot. This is the foot one. Oh boy, I have to get out. I'm sweating. I can't believe I wasted that photo. It's perfect. Oh, they're gonna love it.
Yes. Aww. Yes. You don't have to keep them. I might change the description in my profile uh, on Tinder to I'm just really into magnets right now. I don't really see myself being single that much longer. So I made a post last week asking you if you had any questions for me about the van, the van life, or my life, or me. You all had a lot of really good questions, but I'll answer more in future videos. I think that'd be cool to throw in maybe even every video answering a question or two that you all have. This one's from Brett. Any remodeling you would do to your current van or any design changes you would make for a future van? Yes, I would change a few things. I got a whole list here, so get ready. Some of them are important, some of them not so important. I might do a different fridge setup. I kind of think I would go with a fridge that opens this way and not this way. Because even with the slider here, um, well, the way I made the slide, I made a really bad slider setup. <laughs> um, like, you see that? Um, and when I open the lid, it doesn't open all the way. Um, I'm gonna drink some coconut water, I'm dehydrated. So, like, yeah. And the fridge I have, I, I don't know what it is, but I'm not happy with it. Um, Sometimes I think it turns off on its own because when I open the fridge, every, all the packaging is like all sweaty, which makes me think that it was off for a while and I get a little scared. So I throw away whatever lunch meat I have. My skylight, you know, I have this, I have Dometic's skylight here. It's their cheapest one. This thing keeps falling off. I'm sure I can, I should just try to fix it or just permanently bolt it up here. If you can see what's going on. Yeah, up there, don't fall. Um, yeah, this thing keeps falling off. I'm happy with it, but at the same time, I forget to like close it a lot and I'll drive and it flies open. This is my second skylight because the, the first one blew away. Yeah. So I think if I were to do that again, I'd actually might DIY something, make it a little bit bigger, but also even more low profile and maybe some kind of like a sliding latch that's just a flat sliding thing, if that makes sense. I'm gonna try to get through these. Like like I said, anytime I'm filming during the day in the van, I'm sweating my butt off. Which maybe, I think if I were to do this again, maybe I'd try to figure out an AC unit. People also ask me, what do I do in this heat in the summertime? Well, when it's this hot, at night, I'll stay over at my parents' house and sleep in their basement or sleep on a friend's couch. Um, but during the day I'm working, so I'm only really in the van at night, but if it's too hot, I'm not, I'm, it's not worth it to try to tough it out in here. I would not have insulated the doors where the door handle and the lock things are because one, I can't lock that door anymore, the back door, because of whatever insulation I use. I used to have a lock wool, but I also did some other foam insulation. I thought I didn't use it in that part, but I don't know. I know I didn't do foam on that sliding door and I can't open it. It also could, could be because I ripped the outside door handle off just trying to open it. So, oh yeah, this is a big one. I would have definitely, when I first got the van, the first thing I would have done was set up the backup camera and any security cameras. Cause once I start building these walls and everything, I don't, I'm sure I can still do it, but I don't, seems like a big project now. 
I did have this backup camera thing I got from Costco. It was like 170 bucks. Basically, there's a camera in the um, license plate frame and it's all wireless, but it's weird because you're driving and the camera that you have that you're looking through that ca camera, the monitor, um, to see what's going on, you have to like wave at it. So if you're in a pinch, you're like, start, you put, go in reverse and you're like, oh, nope. And it'd sometimes not work. Where do you store all your random unnecessary buys? That's a question I get a lot. So I, I return a lot of things. Um, I also give a lot of the weird things away as gifts. Some of it's just for like a bit for this van, but some of the stuff I really like. Uh, and I have, you know, I live in Michigan. My parents got a big old basement and uh, I have a couple bins full of stuff down there. I forgot I had waders. Tonight I'm just crashing outside my buddy's house. I do that from time to time, but it is a cozy rainy night tonight. Listen to that. Can you hear that? Huh? I need to know everything. Who and the what and the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche. There's five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything. <laughs>